Hello and welcome. Let's explore single post options in Neve Pro. And in this video, we are going to use a single post from a starter site that we imported during one of our previous videos. I will leave a link to that video on the screen if you want to learn more about starter sites. So let's go ahead and customize this single post. First, let's open the customizer by clicking on this link. And once the menu on the left has finished loading, click on layout, then single post. So under header layout, the first option that we have is normal, where the image sits in the center of the page with white space on the sides. The next setting that we have is title alignment, where you can adjust the alignment of your header text. Let's leave it as left aligned. Next, we have cover. If you select cover, you'll be able to adjust a lot more settings. The first setting is cover height. We can use this slider to adjust the height or simply add a value to this box. The units available are pixels or viewport height. And these icons here indicate that this setting can be adjusted across multiple devices. Cover padding can also be configured by adjusting these options. And you can also make adjustments across multiple devices, but we are gonna skip this setting for now. We can also change the title alignment for the cover but let's leave it as left aligned. We can also adjust the title position. Let's place it at the bottom. Now we are gonna display the meta before the title. Right now it's at the bottom, so let's move it up by turning on this option. Okay, so that looks good. Next, we have color overlay. So you can use the color picker to select any color that you want, but I'm gonna use red. We also have the option to change the text color, but let's leave this as white for now. The overlay opacity can be adjusted with this slider, but I will leave it at about 50%. Okay, we don't want to hide the featured image. There are a few options under blend mode, but I'll keep it as normal. And let's keep the cover container setting as contained as well. Let's move down to box layout. If you turn this option on, you'll be able to adjust padding options for this area here in black using these settings. So as an example, I'm adjusting the padding on the right hand side but let's leave this option off as well. Okay, so let's move down to page elements. Let's click on the tab to expand it. And here we have a few more options to explore. These elements will be shown in the live view area here. We're able to move visible elements up or down by clicking and dragging on the right hand side. If you wanna show or hide an element, simply click on this eye icon. So let's go ahead and turn content back on. And we are going to turn on sharing icons as well. It's at the bottom. Let's turn it on and let's move it to the top. Okay. So if we look in the live view area, we can now see these icons. Let's turn on post navigation as well. So now if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's a link to the next post and the previous post. So that's your page navigation. And if you want to turn on comments, you'll be able to see our comments form in the bottom here as well. Let's leave it off for now. All right, the next option is spacing between elements. Let's go ahead and change this from 60 to about 80 using this slider. It's close, but I'll just use the arrow to make it 80. Okay, next we have post meta. Oops, let's make it 80 again. Okay, let's expand the post meta tab and any change you make in this tab will reflect right here. So as usual, you can turn options on or off by clicking on the eye icon. You can also drag to move elements around like this. But what I really want to do is turn estimated reading time on. Okay, let's move down to the next option. Here you can change your separator. Right now it's a forward slash. You can use any character that you want, but I'm thinking about using a pipe symbol. Okay, I think this looks better. Let's move on. We don't want to show the author avatar, so leave this off. And I will turn on the next option to use the last updated date for posts instead of the published one. Let's go over to sharing icons and scroll down. So we have the option to change the icon style for our sharing icons, but I'll leave it as round. Um, I won't use a custom icon color either. So we have an item for each of our social icons. Let's add one more. I'll click add item. And from the drop down, let's select a social network. So I'm thinking of using WhatsApp. Let's scroll down to find WhatsApp. Now we need to give it a title and we can just call it WhatsApp. Okay. And I'm fine with this showing on both desktop and mobile. You can add another item if you need to, but I'm not going to need one. So I'll just remove this one. Okay. So the final option that we are going to look at is post navigation. So I'm going to click on this tab. And here we have only one option to enable or disable infinite scroll. 
Turning on infinite scroll will show the next post on this page as you keep scrolling. I'll click on this link to show you an example in the documentation. So in simple terms, as you keep scrolling down your page, posts will keep appearing. So if that's something that you are interested in, go ahead and turn it on. Now let's go back to the customizer. If you're happy with your changes, be sure to click on publish at the top of the page. All right. So the changes that we just made apply to all single posts across our website. And I'll show you some evidence of this right now. So let's go ahead and click on news. Okay. Let's view the first post. And you'll notice that this one has the same settings that we just configured. Let's view another one. Let's open Christmas promotions. And this one has the same layout. And in some cases, this situation may not be ideal as you may want the layout for one post to be different from the rest. Neve makes this possible by giving you the option to override the global settings using individual options in the WordPress editor. So click on this N icon once you've opened your post in the WordPress editor. Now we're able to adjust these individual options. Let's start with the page title. Let's make it center aligned. And under elements, let's turn on comments as well as related posts. Okay, so all we need to do right now is click on the update button at the top of the page. Let's click on view post on the left. Okay, so here's our post. Let's scroll all the way down to view the comment section as well as the related post section. And it's right here. So now you know how to configure Neve single post options. Thank you so much for watching.